Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Aliens vs. Predator Underworld Episode 7. I'm your host, Nick, and I'm joined by Mr. H Reviews. What's up, guys? How's it going? Yeah, it's uh, just us two, actually, because we're doing like a heavy spoiler episode for Alien Covenant, and no one else has seen it uh, except for us. So, <laughs> yeah, we can't. You can't add, like, Alien Theory on here and just spoil the whole movie. That'll ruin his day, I think. Uh, I think that would ruin his life, actually. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Man. You know, the funny thing, though, is, like, ever since I uploaded my non-spoiler review, and you probably got a lot of comments on yours, a lot of people have been wanting us to talk about spoilers, like, in general. So. Oh, yeah, non- non-stop. Literally non-stop. And, I, and, and I've had to delete so many spoiler comments from my non-spoiler review I'm like, guys, come on, like, don't, don't be douchebags. You know, people are coming to a non-spoiler review. They can't read spoilers in the comment section. So bad. Yeah. Beyond that, uh, I just wanted to mention, too, uh, for any comic fans out there, the comics Aliens, Dead Orbit, and Predator Hunters just started. The issue one for each of those series is out, and I recommend both of them. They're pretty cool uh, if you're a fan of the comics and whatnot, because I think Life and Death just ended, and Aliens Defiance is wrapping up. I think there's one issue left. So if you're trying to catch on to a new series for each of them, you should definitely check those out. Uh, nice, but... nice. Uh, I will be picking them up when they're hardback um, compilations. Normally that's how I how I do it these days, to be honest. I used to do week by week, but I've, I've changed. I've changed. Yeah, some of them are like read better anyways, like when you have the full thing. That way you're not kind of like waiting month to month like for the next part of the story. So... But, uh, yeah, I guess with that said, you want to just jump right into the movie and just <laughs> just dissect this damn movie for... Well, yeah, I mean, are we are we just going to openly, or... openly warn everyone that obviously this is spoilers? Um, oh, yeah, I mean, obviously spoilers. Spoiling, yeah. spoiling the hell out of this, guys, so don't, don't, don't stop, you know, I mean, don't stop. Stop if you don't, you know, if, if you don't want the movie um, spoiled, because we're just going to, yeah, we're just going to drop right into it now, so... Yeah, uh, listen at your own risk, definitely. Yeah, I, you know, one of the things that I was thinking about, too, is how it really doesn't answer stuff from Prometheus. Like, people are saying, oh, does it resolve what the black goo is? Does it say, why do the no. engineers want to kill us? Does it say, what, who are the engineers? What's, it doesn't answer any of that. You just don't know any of that. It's just, you still don't know what the black goo is. And now, in this movie, the black goo is airborne somehow. That doesn't really, they don't explain that either. No, they don't at all. I mean, they call it a pathogen. Um, which is, I mean, they've they've kind of, you know, defined it now, but yeah. they don't. I mean, they haven't really, they haven't really explained it. Um, in terms of it being airborne, I think that's just in terms of it being, you know, in combination with plant life, because it obviously, you know, has combined with the um, the organic life on the planet, and I think that's why. I think that's how it's now airborne, because the pods, the pods are not, they're not black pathogen. They're black pathogen combined with organic life aren't they yeah plant life so i think that's the only, <clears throat> the only way it, it is you know it's airborne but they don't explain yeah. it of course no of course they don't Idiot. what do you think about the uh what did you think about the engineers bombing sequence because there was a little bit like we get to see kind of their society we see the female engineers in there oh there's women the... there's yeah. women everyone was saying no uh, they're they're bold angry guys and they're angry because <laughs> there's no women and they're all hermaphrodites or some crap like that and they're all asexual no there's women the women are bold though still yeah. which was interesting um, no children that was a bit disappointing I would have liked to have seen little engineer kiddies running around um, yeah it was an awesome awesome sequence again it's still not actually confirmed if they're engineers because they didn't explain it they didn't mm-hmm. say it was the engineer homeworld um, it's the same language though because you can see it on the steps it's the same yeah. language as, as the stuff in Prometheus they speak the same Mm-hmm. Um, as the engineers in Prometheus, and they're wearing the same, and they're all bold, so they're probably engineers. But I think they're potentially leaving that open if there's backlash that they're, they're not explained. I think that's potentially why they didn't, you know, define them as anything. But yeah, what I, you... I mean, I enjoyed I the sequence; say, it was um, good. What do you what, what what do you think about the? Because in the engineer sequence, like you see him kind of walking out of the temple thing. But there's one that has a white cloak on. Like, they all have gray yeah. cloaks, and one has a white cloak, and he looks, like, older, and he looks kind of the wise one or something. Well, I mean, they, they walked out of the Hall of Heads, didn't they? So, yeah. obviously, that's, you know, a place of, like, reverence or, of some sort. Um, uh, I don't know, really. I mean, he must be a leader uh, of of something, whether he's a religious icon or not. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, he must be. I mean, but you couldn't really get a feel for you know what he actually looked like, so it's difficult to say. No, I saw him, dude. Um, he showed a cl- <laughs> close up of his head. Yeah, that's right there. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> also, it doesn't. Wasn't it weird? Because so this is another thing that confuses me, and like also leads more theories about the engineers or whatever these people are on this planet. When the juggernaut shows up, they all gather beneath it and kind of cheer and they're wave. Cheering, at yeah, yeah. yeah like, cheering. so, what does that mean? Like, what do they they know of the juggernaut? They, is it a war hero ship? Like, what? I don't. Well, they obviously know what it is. They yeah. obviously know what it is, and the mother juggernaut was there. You know that they docked with. So, it's they obviously know what it is. But what is it? I mean, I I, I got I got a sense that they were cheering. You know, for like um, you know, like long long. Di- you know, long lost heroes returning from war. That's kind of what I, I got that impression. Um, mm-hmm. And then obviously they realized what was going on, and then you know ran like hell. Uh, also, what did you think of how they resolve Shaw's character? Because I know that that's going to be something terrible. that a lot of people are kind of like, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> terrible. But in terms of how, look, I always say like a, 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 a an actor and a character of a movie is only there to serve the storyline. The storyline doesn't have to serve the character in themselves. So if they didn't want to progress Shaw's character, which clearly they didn't because she's dead, um, then they didn't have to. And they don't have to address how she died or why she died. They do explain that David killed her um, and the way she's dissected open, he obviously took her sexual organs. That's my belief anyway. So we know... We know... We know that she's dead, and we know um, that she's been experimented on, or parts of her have been experimented on. Do we know the circumstances surrounding it? No. But do we have to for the movie of Alien Covenant? No, we don't. So, I mean, for fans of Shaw, you're going to be disappointed. But in terms of the movie itself, it the way she's the, the way her death is explained serves that story. That, mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's how I see it. Anyway, I mean, I don't. What, what did you think? Well, the the thing is, I heard that in the original cut of the film that the prologue with Shaw and David was actually in the movie so I think that would have maybe helped out just seeing her alive at, at least for once in the movie before you see that she's dead but the the thing I'd I don't like mm. like she she has like this weird Giger head like that that painting remember the Necronomicon mm. drawing which is like biomechanical thing so they did that I mean that that's cool I guess but at the same time it's like well, you don't explain how she died. Like, why did David kill her? These are other questions that are now unanswered. Like, what's going on with that? So, well, I mean, yeah. In in terms of the prologue not being in the film, I actually think it's it's good that that th- those parts weren't included in the film. Only because you would you would watch that and then you would see that he's killed her and go that that would lead you to really question why he's done it. And because they don't explain it, it would let you down even further. So mm-hmm. I I personally think that that's pro- probably a good thing that why it wasn't included in terms of the um, the the sketch. Yeah, that was odd, um, but I think it was just David. I mean, that was David's sketches. So maybe it was him kind of you know ironically saying that she is the creator of this thing um, because we see her body right. It's dissected open. She's the mm-hmm. corpse in the trailer. Maybe that was him artistic license in terms of what he's done to her and why. Well, not why he's done it, but you know of of you know what he's done to her and you know what that's become. Mm-hmm. Also, does it really explain that how David created the eggs? Like maybe maybe her she factored into creation of the eggs but, too. Yeah, I mean, I think that's why they they because they linger on the shot of her um, abdomen, you know, uh, open and dissected, and there's not really there's not much left there. All of her organs are, are you know are kind of out and about. Um, you can see it all, so I, th- I think that's potentially why they lingered on that shot. So you can see, oh yeah, he's taken her sexual organs, and I think that's I think that's why. Um, mm-hmm. I think he, I think that's how the eggs were there, basically. So in some ways, she's the queen. But yeah, not- she. So my theory was right. She's the first queen. Yeah, I did. <laughs> like, <laughs> my convoluted of. theory from like two months ago is correct. Yes, but but still unconfirmed. So who knows? <laughs>